What's going on everybody? Tyler from Maple Volkswagen here. Hope you're having a great day because I sure am standing beside this 2023 Atlas Crossport Highline R-Line. Finally, Volkswagen has come out with a vehicle that's got a blacked out package and uh, we couldn't be more excited. Now this vehicle is a 2023 model finished with the black exterior and black leatherette, or sorry, leather interior. Um, take a look at that R-Line package. Beautiful looking rims, everything that's typically chrome on the crossboard is now finished in gloss black, giving a more stealth blacked out look. And uh, I will tell you this, if I had to go for a crossboard, it would be the Highline R-Line because everything is now gloss black. Really, really cool. Now, if you could follow me, we're gonna go over to the passenger side. We're gonna open up the door here. Take a look at how much space is in this vehicle. Now, the crossboard is part of the Atlas family. Uh, Atlases are known for having a lot of interior space and this vehicle is not shy of it. There's tons of crossport, sorry, there's tons of space in this vehicle with the digital dash, you know, nice infotainment screen, navigation's built in, uh, standard from the factory. You got wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, wireless charging as well, uh, which is new for Volkswagen. Heated and cooled seats for the front, then you got heated seats in the rear. Look at the leather perforated seats. Looks really sharp. And then we'll open up this little compartment here. Tons of cargo, tons of cargo space. If you have to put any toys, food, snacks, drinks, two cup holders if you need them. Lots of space in here. Yeah, the Crossport is by far my favorite SUV for the family. Now, if you could follow me to the back, open up. I'm gonna hop inside the back of the Crossport so you can truly see how much space is in here. Now, just so that you know, I'm 5'5 on a good day. So I'm gonna hop in the back here. And still, I've got tons of headspace, lots of leg space in the front, and I'm super comfortable. And it's really nice too, because with this vehicle, if you want, you could also recline the seats. Um, so that's something that I would like, as opposed to sitting upright like this. Wait, let me just adjust it. So this is the standard seating position, but if you wanted to recline them a little bit and get that extra comfort, you just recline it ever so slightly. And now you've got a more comfortable seating feel. We've got some space for cup holders. As of right now, this is covered in plastic because it's a new vehicle. So I'm not gonna take it off for the new customer. They're gonna have the opportunity to take it off, but there's two spaces here, two slots for cups or drinks if you need to. Close that back up. Really nice seats. Leather, sorry, leather perforated seats. You got the climate control um, little switches here so you can adjust it to where it's pointing. Heated seats in the rear. USB-C ports, which are two of them. And then you got a 15V outlet there as well. Really, really nice. Let's head to the trunk. Lots of space in the trunk of the Crossport. It's surprisingly spacious back here. Take a look at all this space back here. Really, really nice. It's also got the privacy cover, so you could always pull this forward if you needed to, so that you can cover whatever's underneath. So if you had any valuables in the back, maybe groceries or whatever it is, you could always pull this so that if anybody's looking in, they won't be able to see what's going on in the back of your trunk. Giving you that extra peace of mind and knowing that nobody can see what's happening in the back here. We lift up this little cargo cover here. Very standard, you got your donut spare tire, your subwoofer for the Fender audio sound system, and then you got your car jack tools and space for anything down below as well. Really, really nice. Let me just close this power tailgate. Fully automatic. One thing to note when you're looking at the Crossport, the Crossport has a V6 engine uh, and it's paired nicely with the tow hitch receiver. So as long as the vehicle's got a V6, you're gonna get the tow hitch and tow receiver standard and you could tow up to 5,000 pounds. So, this was my little short video on the Crossport Highline R-Line. If you have any other questions, if you wanna take this vehicle for a drive or you wanna know more about any of our other Volkswagens, my name is Tyler from Maple Volkswagen. I'd be more than happy to help where I can. The phone number is 416-627-8264. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.